There have been some very exciting advances in Internet of Things technology. Lenovo with a Think IoT platform for all industries. And Andrew, at Relogix, you're serving a very specific solution in the office facility, safe work and secure work environments. John, I want to start with you. What are some of the uh, industries that Lenovo is thinking are great opportunities for the Think IoT platform? One of the lessons that we learned with COVID-19 when it first came to hit us is uh, how much speed became a necessity for businesses. And so we saw people that were in retail trying to figure out how could they shift quickly to buy online and pick up at the curb. Uh, or we saw manufacturers trying to figure out how to get back into the office. So what all of them learned was they needed a different approach to building solutions, things that they could go fast. So we've started in facilities and real estate, and we've moved into retail. We're going to keep going into healthcare and manufacturing and others where the same value benefit exists. There's definitely a whole bunch of exciting opportunities, and connectivity is a big part of this, as well as the hardware. So where has Lenovo innovated uh, from a hardware perspective? Well, there's been a ton of innovation happening in hardware, right, to figure out how do we help keep solutions secure? How do we ruggedize them and find ways that they can be you know, out in space? When you think about temperatures, vibrations, dust, all of those things, Lenovo has done a lot of work to make sure the computing we have can go well in place. But it actually even goes beyond the hardware into how you maintain, manage, and keep all those solutions running over time. So that's where we've spent some real significant time as well. Andrew, the partnership that Relogix has formed uh, with Lenovo uh, to become part of the Think IoT ecosystem, how do you see that partnership benefiting Relogix and, and where do you think the opportunities are? Our solution mostly benefits organizations that have large uh, global office portfolios. Lenovo gives us that opportunity to scale across the globe into markets that we can't reach as a smaller company. So we're excited about the opportunity to expand with Lenovo around the world. Companies are increasingly looking for more flexible workspace, more efficient use of workspace, lowering facility costs overall. And we've interviewed a number of technology companies on this show that are taking advantage of that wave in the office and commercial real estate market. Uh, where does Relogix fit in helping companies achieve their goals in this area? COVID has most definitely been a a major disruptor in the commercial and corporate real estate world. Our data over many, many years has shown that office portfolios around the world are sitting maybe uh, underutilized 50% of the time. COVID has now stretched that, of course, and maybe offices have been sitting empty 80% of the time. And one of the realities of work is work is maybe no longer the place you go every day. It's just what you do. And you're doing it now from home and you're working from anywhere. So uh, I think the trajectory we're on is providing uh, maybe the office portfolio is more collaborative in nature. Maybe it's not all assigned one desk per person anymore. Maybe uh, that design makes companies think about running the space that they have far more efficiently than they may have in the past. There's such a tremendous savings opportunity there and millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars in potential savings. Consumers and businesses, people generally are nervous about you know, privacy and security. Uh, of their data and all the related uh, considerations around network security and privacy. So John and, and Andrew, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how each of your uh, companies is tackling that challenge. From the early, early days, we knew that having sensors across an office space was going to be a challenge uh, when we got into this business a long time ago. Uh, our sensor technology is fully anonymized. The data that we collect is no personally identifiable information. It's very passive in nature. Now that health and safety is top of mind, using this technology uh, to provide a safer work environment, to provide for uh, lower occupancy levels and safe distancing and those types of things has really uh, helped with respect to the overall concerns about privacy. The data is extremely valuable and, it, and it's valuable to everybody that might be working in the office today. Privacy and how data is being used is going to continue to be a concern globally, and it's not going to go back the other way. But I think what we found is some really great uh, innovative solutions that help people do things like Andrew just talked about being anonymized. When you think about trying to prepare offices to come back, people were doing things like elevated temperature screening. Well, we wanted to make sure you could do that in an anonymous way, figure out what the temperatures were and decide to open or close doors, but you don't have to know who the person is. So it's very private. Actually, one of, the, one of the great examples we had was a company that was helping us do on-premise contact tracing. So you can imagine 
within a workplace, if someone does become sick, you wanted to know where they had been so you knew where to clean, who else to alert, but you don't want to be tracking all of your people all the time. And so I thought this company came up with a great way to run down the middle and uh, say, we're going to track uh, the, the addresses of your phones, right, of your mobile phone, but we don't know whose they are. If you get sick, we ask you to come to us and kind of show us what you were, declare it to us and say, hey, I want to tell you I got there. I can then uncrypt your area and see where you've been. And I can tell other people, here's the phone, the other numbers that it was near. Go check yourself and see if you were there. So it actually preserves privacy, yet still creating an opportunity for safety. And I think we're going to find many more innovative solutions like that.